Hey guys, so um, I have been at the hospital with Leland. We, well, so are we, it's just me. I went for uh, just to visit and sit with him, and I got to hold him for like an hour, and I got to feed him a little bit of a bottle, and he was so sweet. So now. I left from up there because I'm about to go back with my sister when she makes it to my parents' house. So while she's on her way, I ran to the beauty supply because I need to wash my hair. These braids look good in the camera, but my hair is sticking out of them and my scalp is dirty. And I just want to wash it and redo it. But I'm going to do them blonde. So I may do that tonight because it's like really driving me nuts. Like once we get back from the hospital, wash my hair and um just redo it over again and right now i already went to the beauty supply so i'm about to go into walmart and get some of those armor drinks i'm hoping they're not too heavy because i'm only supposed to be first of all i'm not supposed to be driving at all so i told my parents that i'm only driving to the hospital and back i feel like a 12 year old because i'm always like no i'm gonna be responsible i'm only gonna go to the hospital and right back and promise like that's just so funny to me because i'm 30 and i'm like asking for permission to drive myself anyways uh so yeah i'm headed into walmart because each time i pump i'm really into this pumping thing i'm sure y'all have noticed because that's all i talk about it's all i have to focus on until my baby comes home and it just makes me feel good knowing that i'm doing something good for him I'm not gonna cry anyways so i want to get some of those armor up drinks and i want to look at their tea because i want to do whatever i can to boost up my milk each time that i pump i get right about like a little less than an ounce which is perfect because all he eats right now is about half an ounce at each feed but he's only going to be this small for a certain amount of time so i don't want it to be like where i'm stuck at his nicu diet i want to be able to feed him the burgers not just the entrees so we're gonna go in here see if i can find some milk boosting tea and the armor drinks and then i need to go home and pump because it's time for me to pump now and my boobies are hurting 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 and that's all i'm getting is those two things i don't need to be running all around the store because i'll start hurting on my incision so yeah i'll see you guys and i'll show you guys what i got once i get back to my hey parents guys. house so nikki vlog life number three beginning i went to walmart i've been pumping and pumping has been going well we're actually about to head up to the hospital me and my sister now and i'm gonna pump while i'm there and i'm gonna show you guys how much i pump from that bottle we're gonna do an experiment so i've had oatmeal today and toast that was my breakfast and then i had a burger and fries for my lunch and i've just been drinking water but i want to boost my milk supply so I've only been doing this for just under a week. It'll be a week on Tuesday because I don't even think I pumped on Monday when I had them. I think I started on Tuesday. Today's Sunday, August 4th. So I went to Walmart and I got all the recommendations that I could find for how to boost your milk supply. And I'm going to show you guys what I got. Uh, my Walmart receipt, my total was $31.08. Since we don't know which one of these things is going to work, if I get more milk, I'm just show you guys everything I got and we'll see what happens. So right now when I pump, I get about 25 milliliters to 55 milliliters. I've never filled up a 60 ounce little bottle that Leland takes at the NICU which is one ounce so I'm barely pumping anything and I want to get up to the point where I can pump like eight ounces in a sitting like total eight ounces total both boobs so we'll see how long it takes me to reach that goal but I'm gonna show you guys what I got from Walmart and again my total was $31.08 so this is broken this is the only one that they had that came in a case this was 
five. Pull the receipt. Gosh. Oh, this is the wrong receipt. They just got random receipts everywhere. Hold on. Okay, this was. Uh, where is it? Five ninety eight. The Body Armor drinks. Everybody's been talking about these. The only flavor they had, and this is the last option, the broken one, is mango, orange mango. So I grabbed that one. And then I grabbed three other ones. So I grabbed one in pineapple coconut. The singles are 124. I grabbed one in strawberry banana. And I grabbed one in watermelon strawberry. So I'm going to have to make sure I tell my dad these are not for you because he likes Gatorade. And he'll think, oh, cool, fancy Gatorade. Then I got the organic mother's milk tea. I got the big box. This was $8.48. Comes with 32 tea bags. I'll drink some of this tonight. Then I got four packs of these lactation cookie bites. I'm gonna take some of these to the hospital with me. These are the oatmeal chocolate chip flavor. I know they had an oatmeal raisin flavor. I don't like raisins, so I got the chocolate chip one. These were $2.28, and I got four of them. And I got a family size box, value box, with 20 packets of the maple brown sugar oatmeal. So, when I get to the hospital, I will show you guys how much milk I pump. And that will be our base. And then I'm going to have some cookie bites and an armor drink while I'm at the hospital hanging out with Leland. Well, maybe I'll have them when we get back because you don't really supposed to eat in the NICU. No, I'm not really hungry right now. Well, I'll take them with me in case I'm hungry by the time it's time to go. Because pumping, you do get super hungry. So I'm going to take a strawberry banana, armor drink, and a lactation cookie bite with me. And we will see what happens by the end of the night. I'll probably have some oatmeal when we get back. So, oh, and I can show you guys my body. Ignore how weird my boobs look. I got all my favorite pumping bra I keep talking about. And let's see. So this, I had Leland on Monday, uh, September 20, wait, Monday, July 29th. Today is August 4th. Sunday so my belly is still looking pretty big if you can see this is where my c6 oh that hurt it's time for me to take my other ibuprofen too this is where the c-section scar is it's still bandaged up I'm supposed to take this off tomorrow but I'm gonna call my doctor and make sure this is all the tape this, whatever they use is amazing because I've taken showers and it's gotten wet and soapy. It hasn't came off. So yeah, that's what my body's looking like right now. I'm going to call my doctor tomorrow to make sure they want me to take this off already because I'm kind of scared because I've still been hurting. I would hope that it doesn't hurt anymore before I take it off. And they said it's gonna hurt when we peel it off and I'm supposed to wash it with soap and water. She told me some point on Monday to lay down on the bed, have a helper, which of course will be my mom, and that this stuff is super sticky and that it's going to hurt coming off and that we're going to have to go really slow and that it's going to hurt. And to do it before the shower because you're supposed to wash it with mild soap and water. So I'm definitely going to ask my doctor if there's any way I can not do that tomorrow. So yeah, I will see you guys with the milk up. So I already went to see my baby twice today. I was about to wash my hair. I took a shower, I washed my hair, and I was gonna go see the baby again, looking crazy. Like, just put it in a bun and then come back and do my hair. But, I feel like the braids were super convenient because I could just get up, take my scarf off, and go no matter what. And you never know, maybe I'll get a call saying, hey, come get your baby, and I don't wanna look like this for all the pictures of me ugly crying, taking my baby home. So I'm going to go ahead and do my hair if I'm still feeling the oh I need to see him right this second feeling which is always I'll go see him otherwise I'm going to try to take do my hair take a nap then go see him no matter what time it is. Um, 
This is postpartum day six. He'll be one week old tomorrow. So you can see my body. I think it looks all right. I'm breastfeeding. I'm trying to eat a little better. We'll see. So yeah, I'm going to do my hair and I'll come back. I'm doing the same braids, just blonde. And my scalp is clean. My scalp was dirty. That's why I was doing it. you um, want an easy, quick hairstyle, I recommend rubber band box braids or Marley twist. So you, all you need is rubber bands, a leave-in, a comb, the braiding hair. I'm still going to do the curly ends. I'm about to part off all my sections. And this is going to take no time. So that way, you're already not wearing makeup. Like... I didn't even pack makeup to come to my parents' house. And on my little list, when I was writing out my hospital bag, I had makeup on the list. You don't even think about makeup. You're thinking about getting dressed as quickly as possible and getting up there to see your baby. And so, having your hair already done is nice. Plus, you're feeling really weird about your body. Like, you're, when I was pregnant, I was big and huge, but you have an excuse because you're pregnant. Now you're not pregnant. You look like one of those people that wants attention still having your hospital band on. But nobody knows that your baby's in the NICU and you got to have it on or else they won't let you see your kid. So it's just kind of nice, you know, having something that looks decent on you. doesn't matter, but it's nice. Guys, I couldn't finish my hair, so I stuck a bonnet on it. I have like this top section to finish. But I had to come see my baby. I busted out of my parents' house. I feel like a 12-year-old staying with them while I heal but I had to come see my baby so I'm here at 11 30 at night is 4 27 a.m and i am just now leaving i just had the best nurse freaking ever i think they're all the best nurse freaking ever because they're taking care of my baby and they like are so soft and gentle with him oh, but this lady was super sweet we talked for like hours and she let me hold him twice for like over an hour each time so yeah i had a great time got to cuddle my baby it was very well worth going and yeah i'm going home in a great mood i'm exhausted because i haven't slept oh and i pumped while i was there and i got tons of milk so i'm about to go get a biscuit and go home and catch up on sleep try to sleep as long as i can and then wake up finish my hair and come hang out at the hospital and she said she's back tomorrow night so we'll see if she gets assigned Leland again I've learned because people say oh I'm back tomorrow night and I'll be like oh cool he'll have the same person sometimes they have the same person and sometimes that person gets assigned to another baby which is cool I like meeting all the nurses I feel like the more nurses you know the better and hopefully he won't be there too much longer to be meeting too many more. So we'll see. But that's the update. I'm going to focus on the road because I am sleep deprived and hungry. One update though, my uh, incision is not hurting and it's time for my medicine. So we'll see how it's feeling when I get home if I take it or not because I don't want to be dependent on that stuff. But it has only been a week. So yeah, talk to you guys when I get okay, home. Guys. Bye. So I made it home. I did stop at McDonald's and I ate breakfast. I took a nap. Now I'm up trying to finish my hair. I have six braids left and I'm pumping. It's 8 a.m. So I'm gonna try to get back on schedule today because I majorly fell off. I'm supposed to pump every three hours, uh, like two, five, eight, 11. So I'm trying to get back on schedule today. I'm thinking I'm not going to make his 9 o'clock care like I usually do. 
So I'm going to try to be there. Well, I mean, I for sure can be there for the 12 o'clock one. And I'll just call for the 9 o'clock sugar. And update on his numbers. So he is going to be officially seven days old today at 327 because that's when I had him this past Monday. Um, his sugar number in the bag has gone from a 7 to a 1.5. Um, I think in one clip I told you guys he had got down to a 2.5 and then he had a bad sugar number so they actually bumped it back up to a 3.5 so now he's officially at a 1.5 on his sugar bag so um, now it used to be any number over 60 we could wean down now any number over 70 we can wean down so he got to wean down once yesterday and a couple times the day before so I'm just hoping today he gets a couple really good numbers so he can wean completely off of the sugar bag and do really good because I just want his little tootie booty home. Um, I feel like I'm wasting my maternity leave not having him here and being off work to heal. So there's nothing I can do about that but hope YouTube takes off and I can just stay at home with my baby forever and never have to go back to the call center. We'll see. All right, get this video a like, share, comment, you know. Uh, anyways, uh, what else? So he's doing really good as far as his sugar. The next thing that we're trying to work on is giving him little bits of his feeds out of a bottle. So uh, out of his last feed, I was there from 11.30 a.m. to about 4.30 a.m., and we gave him 15 milliliters out of a bottle when he was awake and showing signs that he was interested. But then my poor little guy threw it all up. He just looked up at me and threw it all up. And it scared the crap out of me. And I did start crying because seeing that much throw up come out of a little bitty mouth was scary. And you know, usually when you're holding a baby like this and they start throwing up, you just immediately kind of tilt them forward and pat their back you can't do that with him because he has all these cords on him and you can't move his belly cord like it's very important and serious that that belly cord is not moved so i'm holding him he throws up that big for the first time and you can't like your initial reaction you have to fight because of that cord so thank goodness his nurse was right there and i was like i'm scared he's throwing up and she came over and she was like, it's all right. She just caught it in a spit up towel. And she had me slowly transition my hands to that forward position to pat his back. He was totally fine. He didn't even make a sound, which kind of scared me. Because if you weren't looking at him, you would never have known that he threw up. So, yeah. That was an eventful time. Um, <laughs> I just love that little boy so much. And I can't wait till he's home. So that's the update for now. I'm going to finish pumping and finish my hair so I'll be able to just get up and go. The braids are so super convenient. And y'all, I'll see you guys in the next clip. I finished my hair and I finished all my tasks for today except for going to see my baby. I'm about to shower and go do that. But quick note for if you're 12 and watching this and have baby fever because Leland is so cute. Thank you. I think he's pretty cute too. Keep in mind, it's not just about having a cute baby and going to visit him. I just had to call the insurance to add him. Then I had to call my doctor for a follow-up appointment, even though I feel like they should have been calling me because they didn't even come see me in the hospital. But anyway, then I had to call different providers to see if they had an appointment available, even though he's not ready for an appointment because he's not ready to come home yet. Then you have to get calls from the doctor that you don't even understand where they give you updates and you have to like try to understand and ask smart questions and it's like really overwhelming so don't have a baby if you're 12 because i'm 30 and i'm barely hanging on get a baby doll kid oh and you get cut open and you have a busted up body and your breast cream leaves stains on your bra that make you look dirty and sweaty even though it's just clean breast cream so your nipples don't fall off so don't do it if you're 12 wait Wait a little bit, a lot of bit. Leland, Leland, happy one week. Happy one week. You're one week old today. We gotta get you a cupcake. You want a cupcake? 
little big boy now at one week old. So Leland, his sugar bag is now down to a 0.5. His last sugar blood draw at 9 p.m. on August 4th was 83. 0.5. Every time he has a good number over 70, it gets weaned down by 0.5, and he's at a 0.5. So he need he only needs one more good number to have a good sugar, which means he won't have his belly tube anymore, and he'll only be focused on taking his feeds through a bottle, which is a challenge. If it's me doing it, if the nurses are doing it. He kind of stays awake for them a little better. But at the end of the day, the nurses aren't going to feed him at home. I am. It's like he gets in my arms and smells me and then knocks out. Like he literally, the second he gets into my hands, his eyes roll in the back of his head and he falls asleep. So, yeah, we're going to have to work on that. And regulating his body temperature they already think that he can regulate his body temperature they just can't test it because of the tube in his belly so don't let this fall fool you i cried a lot today but i am so proud of my little man and yeah i'm so happy i'm so proud of him i'm so proud of that little boy